a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop him. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jiu-jitsu. If he's able to extend these jiu-jitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhook. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body, but it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. level, everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Both fighters identical in age with big differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started Ladies with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> If he's supposed fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Assassin! And now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. Mr. Untouchable. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to the So here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave his web of traps to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain his space. He needs to make sure he is not on the ground. Avoid it at all costs. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. And they separate. Dig and kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, yeah. I need more strikes. Oh. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh. Who's hurt? Throws him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. 
mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks, he's throwing punches. Just misses there with the left. Just over three minutes to go. It's okay, keep going. Under three minutes to go in round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? What a body kick. Superman punch. And he caught the kick. Hey. All right, single collar tie now. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. Just missed with the left there. Hey, he's off balance. Take him down. Here's the shot. Take the shot. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Take him down. Big leg kick land. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Over and over he landed these big body kicks. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with it. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Jab. 
big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Punch coming, it's blocked. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Immediately gets the underhook. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Unable to land with that punch. Three minutes now to go. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the block. Oh, that big knee. knee. That knee hurt him. much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. <laughs> Kick to the body now. That one won't land. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Back to the jab now. No good. Nice loop and punch. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Big leg kick land. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Real sneaky body kick. Twenty seconds left. Huge strike lands there. Somehow his opponent stayed up. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Head kick attempt. It's blocked. Big punch from Clinch. How about those five minutes? All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Punches, use your knees, use your kicks. You want to see you work that distance. Keep your way in. You ready? You ready? Oh! 
Third round underway. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Straight punch lands. Way to hide that leg kick. Big head kick lands. Big kick lands. Some nice back and forth action here. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, big punch lands. Nice job of hiding that head kick. He's, he's limping now. He blocks the shot. Right under the elbow, by the kick land. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Missed with that attempt. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. What a punch. Misses again with a right punch. And he landed the right hand there. Oh! oh. Fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Great punch landed with so much power. Able to check that kick as well. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice. Nice. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out.
next three rounds in the can, we're headed to the championship round. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, so next Ready? round underway here, and you Ready? gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high... Oh! Trouble's over. It's over. Goodness, what a fight. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At 20 seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by knockout, Mr. Hatsabon. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.